Today, an Oval Office meeting with the new Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen. President Biden saying his top legislative priority is passing his $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan. Face the Nation host, Margaret Brennan, joins us live from Washington, D.C. tonight, as she does every Friday. Thank you for joining us, Margaret. What are the prospects for passing this rescue package? Well, President Biden says uh, he will force it through no matter what, essentially, because today he left open the door to using a process known as reconciliation, which bottom line would be a way to muscle through this $2 trillion package with only Democratic support. He said he still wants to get Republicans on board so that this can be bipartisan, uh, but he's not ruling out forcing it through with just Democrats. And that would be controversial because, of course, President Biden has said he wants to govern from a place of bipartisanship. The $2 trillion package as it exists right now has provisions in it, including a mandate for a $15 an hour minimum wage that many Republicans are objecting to. There are other provisions as well. But uh, if, if there isn't room for compromise on the part of Democrats, uh, it, it may be a choice that Joe Biden makes in these early days to force it through. Hmm, interesting. He's already had, what, 30 executive orders or so as well. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. Margaret, uh, states are seeing success in vaccinating their populations. Some of them. We just had a list of the states that are doing the very best. Others, including Massachusetts, need a little more help. So what is the federal government doing to sort of close the gap? We want to talk about this with Cedric Richmond, one of the top advisors to President Biden, the former Louisiana congressman. But uh, to be honest, they just got a very big help from Johnson & Johnson, which announced today promising results from its latest vaccine trial, which means by February, which is just around the corner, you could have millions more doses of vaccine available to put into the pipeline. Right now, demand is outstripping supply uh, with just Pfizer and Moderna available uh, at present. So that will help out the Biden administration. But in terms of what they're actually doing, they're offering to provide uh, help from FEMA, that federal agency that usually shows up to help in the wake of a hurricane, is helping to distribute vaccine in eight states now. They're offering to reimburse uh, the 22 states who have activated their National Guard to help distribute the vaccine. But ultimately, uh, the White House is, is asking Congress to provide more funding to states to help make that last mile of delivery uh, happen a little bit faster. They want to get to one and a half million vaccines per day. The rate right now is is about a million uh, or just below that. So they are, they are close to picking up that pace, but they need to uh, really start churning out more shots in arms to get to a place where the virus is under control. Yeah, so many people are clamoring to get it. Margaret Brennan, thank you so much for joining us. I always appreciate it. And you can watch Margaret on Face the Nation Sunday morning, 1030, right here on WBZ. Paula? Well, David, a lot.